Telling the referee to come here. Barroom Brawler has the referee's attention as Barroom Brawler number two comes up into the ring. Gets burned by Lawler. Lawler turns it around. Wakes up Billy Travis. Gonna get that arm checked out. Says if it's broken, he'll just put a cast on it and use it as a weapon here. For him. Billy Joe Travis is uh, just arriving in the studio, and well, I'm not going to talk to him too much about it, but uh, the effects of uh, confrontation with Jerry Lawler are still very evident on the side of his face here. Billy? You see what kind of people live here? A man gets burned and you laugh about it? Let me tell you something, Jerry Lawler. When the word got out, what you had done to me, I got over a hundred calls. Let me tell you something, Billy. I want to come down there and finish off that punk. I hate his stinking guts for over ten years, a lot of people said. Well, let me tell you something, Lawler. You have scarred me for life, and I will never, ever, ever forget it. So i got to tell you something. This week, I've got a big surprise for you. I've got men calling me left and right coming out. They want to knock you out. I can't do it right now, but when I get better, punk. I can't believe these idiots. You idiots! Who do you think you are? Lala, let me tell you something. You call that professional wrestling? You're nothing but a dirty, egg-sucking dog that's got a suit to these tactics. Because you know that you couldn't beat me, so you had to try to burn me. Well, you did, punk. Well, let me tell you, you're going to get yours, punk, I promise you. Well, Billy, I, know, I, I, I don't condone anybody. Look at it! Well, I see it, I see it, there's no doubt about it. But what led up to it, the guitars over the head and all that sort of thing, you got to kind of keep that in mind and remember next time around, huh? Let me tell you something, Lawler. You know what this has cost me? Oh, punk $2,700 for my window. This is my interview time. You get on out of here. Here's, here's the king. Listen, don't you lay a finger on me, punk. Don't you even try to touch me. You want to tell me something, Billy Travis? Tell it to my face. And speaking of faces, <laughs> speaking of faces, Billy Travis, Yours looks like something I saw the other day when I stopped at Kentucky Fried Chicken. It looks a little on the fried side, you know what I mean? Now, how does it feel, boy? Huh? How does it feel? First now of you all, know Dave what it's Brown. Like. Now you know what it's like when you want to run and you want to, just like Dave said, bust guitars over somebody's head. Well, you found out, Billy Travis, that there's somebody around here that ain't going to put up with that mess. You know what I mean? And you're looking at him right now. Yes. Yeah, Snarl that little face up, and if you feel froggy, just jump on me and get you some more of that, Billy Travis. Anytime, anywhere, and anybody that you can come up with, I know that anybody that'll have anything to do with you is going to be just about as good as you are, and that's not very good at all. So you bring anybody you want, Billy Travis, and I'll line them up, and I'll knock them right down, and if you ever want any more of me, all you got to do is stand there and ask for it, and I'll be more than you, glad to oblige you. You just... Wait, you made your bed? Now you got to lie in it, punk. I promise you I'm going to get you. I promise you. Your day is numbered. Come on and get me right now, baby.